he's going to talk about uh, Amane and August Kant on the positivism in inheritance. And this is going to happen in English, right? OK, okay. in English. So here we are. Thanks. Hi, all. First, I want to say thanks, I'll give thanks for all European Network of Japanese Philosophy to give me the opportunity to be here. Um, I'm so sorry for all mistakes that I don't. I need you all for continuing my research. So I want to explain what the Nishiyamane are positivism inheritance. Uh, the main reason for this research is based on the firm belief that philosophy and much less reasoning derived from it is, is not something that West can get at as something unique and exclusive. Endorsing, I, I there said, it is much worse to suppose that it doesn't exist in other cultures. We are, thanks. We are used to student Thales and introduce him as the first philosopher in the West. But what about the East? Did not people there have a critical point of view of nature? Did they not have metaphysical and mathematical thinking? I dispute that those not pass through the various stages of knowledge and that in your truth, in words of Kant, of why has the peculiar fate in one species of its cognitions that it is burdened with questions which it cannot dismiss, since they are given to it as problems by the nature of reason itself but which also it can as well, since the transcends <coughs> every capacity of human reason. In short, give this by see that philosophy and everything that derives from it is not something de facto exclusive West. So given that as we in this question will require more much time that I have, and it will make this, this exhibition completely different to the schedule, I prefer to make a brief summary of the events that led to the collapse of the Tokugawa, the opening and westernization of Japan from Nisi Amanesto. <coughs> so, <coughs> uh, Bakufu sends some, some missions to Europe, and in these missions, were sent in the years 1816, 1862, and 1867. In the second of this mission, Nishi Amane and Suda Mamichi were sent to Leiden under the tutelage of Professor Simon Wieseling, rather than the figure of Suda. We will focus on Nishi Amane and the influences that define his thoughts. I refer to the philosophical thought that's what fashionable in Europe them, positivism. I hope you don't mind this historical introduction to understand the context of the modern Japanese thought, and even more to understand how Nishi could connect as different philosophical tradition, it was necessary to explain this historical moment for Japan. Thinking about history is thinking about philosophical problems. So the first contact with the Western philosophy uh, was probably of the first several of turning points of Nishi Karis occurred in 1845 or 1846 when Nishi began to read the words of Ogyu Sorai. When Nishi read Sorai's commentary of the Anacles of Sun Confucianism, he could study the Neo-Confucian thought. This may be the ultimate in Nishi Amane, how he aims to articulate all that Neo-Confucian conceptual apparatus with the Western philosophy. Also, it was not until he published Hyakuichi Syndrome, curiously in the complete world of Nisi, we can notice that this world is placed on the first volume, and is as if he will begin the constructing a prior metaphysical conception to replace it or destroy what it is complete, such as imitating the style of models of Western philosophy. In 1857, he joined us in Banso Sirabeso, occupying the position of junior assistant instructor. In this institution, Nisi had access to dictionaries from English to Dutch and obtained a knowledge of this language, which allowed him to be sent to the Netherlands later. It was there, under the direction of visiting and following the recommendations given by the professor, where he began reading Cornelius William of Sumer. Of Sumer, 
introduce an easy and sura to angle friends positivism, especially the words of Augusto Conte and John Stuart Mill. Uh, I don't have time to explain all the contents, so uh, Thomas Heavens write an article that defines very good that was the Mumbai Kaika. Mumbai Kaika was very important in this moment to understand what we what Nisi or who Nisi <coughs> begins uh, his thought. Uh, the first influence in Nisi Amani and positivism is in Hakuiki Hyakugaku Enkan. Uh, this work probably future to be able to say that Nisi has been one of the leaders of the Japanese Enlightenment. I will not go into the definition and explanation of the term Mumei Kaika, but at least I would like to mention to according that I say. So, <clears throat> I take this opportunity and since I am in France, how can I not make a special mention of the Japanese encyclopedia? This book, clearly inspired by Conti's positive philosophy courses, was nicknamed by the own Nisi with the title in English Encyclopedia. Here are the possibility, the possibly the most positivist heritage in Nisi. Conte always wanted to change the society in which they lived and <coughs> to achieve this goal. It must be done for the knowledge. What was that knowledge? Collect positive awareness of knowledge and likewise start Nisi differentiation between negative and positive knowledge. To Nisi, both knowledge are interrelated in such a way that when we know the goodness, we automatically know evil as its opposite. Later, he exhibited what is the negative and positive knowledge in relation to the science. This had modified the knowledge about nature and the universe to highlight different cosmic models. Nisi applies similarly this differentiation at the political level to consider more appropriate model or prefectures before the stronghold of Liu Songyang. The direct relationship with positivism in the introduction of this encyclopedia is found in the three states that formulate Comte, theological, metaphysical, and positive. Nisi agrees with Comte in which to achieve the truth is necessary to raise the third state. It proposed the example of thunder. At first, it was thought that this was produced by some god. I, wait, this is the text. You can see the text in the Japanese. Uh, I don't know what's the, now the, the name of a book that wrote John Baraldo, Heisei, Japanese philosophy and his text. This is one, this is uh, the test that they translate all the notes that in this book. So, <clears throat> this agrees with Conte in the three states. So, the example of thunder, at first, it was, like I said, uh, it was thought that it was produced by some god. After eating of the duke thought, was interpreted as a confrontation between the yin and yang and last until they were discovered electricity and used application. It was not the truth. So the three states are completely linked to the science. In this way, <coughs> links about science with their application and present as an example the use of the same words, machines or cars. Nisi believes that science is something that points to higher levels and are somewhat lower, but sharing something in common, talent as well both in sig and intelligence, sand and clumsiness and stupidity, and items that are not same. Nisi used his encyclopedia to formulate a new organization of science, based on a critic of the previous tradition, the to see school, Nisi insists on the need for some applied science. Remember that they are always linked to a technological advancement, seeking a scientific method based on empiricism. In the text that appear in the books, <coughs> uh, Japanese uh, philosophy, 
the philosophy of Japanese in his text. Nishi speaks of astronomy and how ideas of the movement of the earth have been replaced by others, and how Japan has changed in your form of administration of field domes to prefectures. It is what could be considered as a Copernican twist. The Encyclopedia of Nisi consists of a brief on introduction of 25 pages and Facebook, which includes the common science, and the second book, which plays the particular science. What are the common science? Those that are universal for all civilizations, living one place to the specific, which are product of the culture. Such is the case of theology, Christianity in the West. The interesting thing about the introduction of this work are notions which leaves about knowledge, the formation of intellectuals and securements for them, that led him to recognize the great superiority that the West was. The theory of Galileo, the discovery and exploitation of America, printings and more things. Uh, the next word I want to speak is Jinsei Samposetsu in English, the three human stressors. Uh, for people that don't speak Japanese, this word can find in Meiro Kutasi. It's a very interesting book of all Japanese enlightenment. Jinsei Samposetsu. This word was published in 1875 in Meiro Kutasi and is divided into four parts. The first one, published in June of the same year, begins with a mention of European thought. I choose this quote because it reflected the influence of positivism in considering this philosophical current as the most innovative of all and which gives a vision that changed the world. Nisi saw the three thesis were health, wisdom, and wealth, also expressed general happiness is the main object, and that in turn this is product of the three thesis. Before defining what they consist of, Nietzsche reflects about the philosophy possibility that these are incompatible with the gifts of heaven, and establishes a clear relationship between the two, as if he proposed a dialogue and coexistence between two traditions. So in words of Nisi, it is completely natural for men to acquire and perfect the three thesis because they are the gifts of heaven to man and he bases for the greatest happiness and hell that we mortals receive from heaven. Why Nisi said these treasures and on what basis? First, it exposed that hell is something of the desire to live, to preserve life, and projection as a mandate of heaven. Second, understand that wisdom is a product of rational beings, find it is something innate. Third, and finally, defends the readiness as the variety of produce and property is required to survive. Nisi exposed that search and perfection of the three thesis is the fundamental basis of the proper moral and good basis for behavior. It establishes who pays certain limits of morality as humility, modesty, lack of interest, or lack of desire, acting incorrectly. Nisi establishes the <coughs> three terms of obligation, projecting health, promote knowledge or wisdom, and to seek wealth. On the other hand, Nisi said of a series of opposites to these three thesis. When one's really the first term does not protect your body, the says. The second occurs when we may not question and we don't practice the study. We become arrogant or don't appreciate the gift of life, ignorance. And the third takes the takes place place when we are engaged in a life, pleasures, and not at war, poverty. In the second part of this war, also published in June of the same year, proposed methods 
by which human beings are associated and form societies. societies. For these relationships to flourish, there must be certain rules. Nisi proposed three rule states. Uh, first, thou shalt not injure in the less the wealth of other men, and thou shalt promote the health of other men if his soul be done with the assistant, relative to the first thesaurus. Second, in words of Nisi, thou shalt not injure in the less the knowledge of other men, and thou shalt promote the knowledge of other men, if his soul be done with your assistant. The second, thrusly related, and third, fairness, thou shalt not injure in the less the property of others, and thou shalt promote the property of others, if his soul be done with the assistant. Saving relationship with the third thesaur. In the third part, Nisi proposed a set of standards for good governance or ruling people. Based on an ethic of ends. This ethic considers the happiness should reach more of the population. In the fourth and the last part, proposed a set of unchanging principles for the maintenance of social exchanges. I will go. I won't go into details during the profile of the whole work, since I don't want to take time to the rest of the speakers. Success, <coughs> similarly, the positivist postulates said, agree, said the utilitarity and foundation for morality. So, I think, sorry. This work has a this thing like utilitarian and is based on the ethics of Bentham and Mill. Why speak of this if it has an utilitarian influence? Utilitarianism is an ethical positivism. Pragmatism is science it is considered that morality is effective when its purpose is the full utility <coughs> and success. Similarly, the positivist postulates are we said the unity as a main foundation for morality. While Mill never accepted the basic tenets of positivism, it agreed with the positive spirit in relation to scientific research. Utilitarian morality and a positive affirmation of scientific knowledge were key, of, were key elements for the pre-industrial societies. Ethics cannot be separated from the history of ideas. So, to conclusion, the vision that I have or it is not intended to show up an easy as the first Japanese philosopher, but rather as a thinker hing between S and West. In my humble opinion, and if you don't mind me to say, it definitely is a philosophical work with a Japanese flavor, as is the an inquiry into the Gulf of Kitaro Nishida. But this is not a Greek word. So, um, Kitaro had a lot of concept now that Nisi appears and Nisi gets from Western philosophy. Nisi is a philosopher who unites and deconstructs the former Confucian tradition. To replace it with a new definition of science, this was one of the main reasons why Nisi was so important during the Meiji and Japanese Illustrative Enlightenment. Nisi only incorporated certain elements of Western philosophy and served to connect different thoughts and philosophical positions by each other. One thing is the history of philosophy and a history of intellectuality, which must not be separated from the study of philosophy in general. Heidegger said that the experience of the languages can only be activated by way of thinking by which the work of Nietzsche was not only the transcript of concepts from the West to the East, it was thinking about certain problems of language and how to connect to disparate traditions. So, Thank you very much. I think there is, my have uh, many questions, so uh, Directly. Uh, donc, euh, s'il y a des questions, ben, 
je vous en prie, c'est le moment, euh, si vous êtes d'accord, pas d'accord, euh, et euh, on peut en discuter. Dans un... okay. euh, en anglais, in English or in French or in English, yeah. in Japanese as well, yeah. if it's okay for you, Japanese? No. no? Okay, so English. Uh, thank you very much for your communication. Uh, I have two, two or three questions. Uh, that's very, very uh, 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 Nishi uh, could not be satisfied with B. Could you speak a little bit, please? Uh, Nishi uh, could not uh, be satisfied with uh, so, uh, introducing the story of Western sciences, but he wanted to introduce to the philosophy. Uh, especially in the philosophy of sciences. Uh, why? <laughs> How uh, uh, did, did he decide to, decide to introduce uh, the philosophy? Uh, not only the Western uh, sciences, but also the philosophy, uh, especially the philosophy of sciences. Uh, with, only with the sciences, Japan could be <laughs> open, uh, uh, mentally, uh, not only materially, but mentally. Uh, why, uh, how uh, uh, was he interested in the philosophy, uh, Western philosophy, especially the uh, philosophy of sciences? I think that I, I understood your question. <laughs> Uh, you speak me about the uh, why Nisi takes Western philosophy. Yeah. Uh, um, first, uh, uh, many uh, Japanese, young Japanese, uh, were very, very interested in the Western sciences and uh, the, not only the natural sciences but also the social sciences were introduced mm, at the same time. Uh, but Nishi was decided to convict, convict uh, by the some, some value of the Western philosophy, especially of the Western uh, philosophy of sciences, uh, what <laughs> was uh, interest? Uh, uh, what was the interest which in the she found in? What's the interest of Nietzsche in France and in the science and society? This is your question? Let me rephrase it. So basically, the question is to know uh, why and how Nishi Amane thought or did think to introduce philosophy such as a science things or like a philosophy of science, which appears to him very important for Nishi Amane. And what would you be your point of view about that? Yes, uh, Nishi Amane acquires a um, reformation on lingo science. So Japan was in a very difficult moment and take uh, the importance to innovate and change all the old traditions that are going to organize the science. Um, Nisi uh, has a real interest first when he read a lot of Japanese, um, Dutch and English dictionaries and take uh, the opportunity and at <coughs> being Japan uh, with the first, or maybe with the, <coughs> sorry, I'm nervous. Uh, I don't know how to answer uh, as well the question. Nisi connect all science to, uh, to give Japan uh, I don't know what to say, sorry. I'm white. <laughs> Maybe what we can do is continue the conversation just after between the two of you. Uh, the reason is because the time is running. I'm very sorry, but like we have very uh, narrow schedules and we are already late. So maybe one very short, quick question uh, and then, then we're gonna have to switch to the next uh, person to talk, if any. So maybe just to send the question just like that, you don't have to answer right now. So my, 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 my question would be also like, 
in this, this, this schema, the schema, you, you show us the word philosophy didn't, didn't appear. So why it did, didn't appear and how do you explain that? You know, in the, the books you show, you show us the table of content and the word didn't appear into the philo in philosophy, didn't appear as a natural science or, or common science or whatever he wants to call it, didn't appear. So what would be the reason? But you can just think about it and we'll talk about that later, right? So uh, you asked me about the, what don't appear the, the text? Yeah, in the table of contents. Why is it not comprehensive as a science, for example? could be understood as a science. Uh, I think that uh, the text is in, in the... Uh, I have seen... Uh, not, not this one, the table of contents. So the table of content of your... Maybe two slides before this one? So one or two before this one? In the table of materials, why no appear? When it appears in all the sciences. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Mm. Why yeah, this one. Okay. So there, 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 is, there isn't the word philosophy inside it. It's there. Is there? Second. Uh, uh, second. Yeah, but it's not common science, but okay. part. Ah, yeah, is there. Yeah. Ah, why, yes. did it is there? Ah, yeah. uh, why did it not put up there, you know? Like, yes. This is my, the, the question I, I uh, was thinking. Why is this introduction of this book? This, um, principally, Nisi explains that history, geography, literature, mathematics, all science that connect all civilizations and all civilizations get access to, to it. But theology, philosophy, politics, um, intellectual and physical science are product of culture. So I noticed that philosophy, um, different of content theory, Nisi put this Tetsuaku on the first, on the queen of all science, indifferent to content. So, I don't know how to answer your question, so I don't have time to research more about this problem. So I noticed the, the same that you. So it, I'm researching I, and i trying to discover why Nisi put philosophy, for example, in particular science, and why Nisi explains um, philosophy in other texts what are the queen of all science. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. So